Yo, what is up, people? It's your boy Dave, the Mixed Kohai, and yeah, we're back with another tier list video. It did well, viewer wise. The last time we did it, um, the last few videos was kind of tanked a little. I hope you guys liked a little bit of the background. If you want to see how I did it, go check out the last video. I did a minor changes to my office, more changes to come. But without further ado, let's get into this tier list. I'm very excited about this one. All right, today we are ranking some of our favorite animes and we're going to rank them as excellent very good good fine average acceptable or garbage so let's see what we got first blue exorcist i mean i haven't i'm not fully caught up with blue exorcist on the latest season but i remember when it first came out i liked it a lot but I wouldn't. But what I say is very. It's definitely not excellent. I wouldn't say that. I, I'm gonna put it as ex, right, if you want to make it as excellent. I mean, you're like S tier, top of the line. Is it very good? Season one, yes, it's very good. The storytelling is that, and the pacing for it is good. It's very good. Second season, eh, I think the fact that they rushed for when they um started to realize they oh he is. The son of the devil, and all of a sudden, the very end, they're end up finding the devil. I think they rushed it a little too much. So I'm gonna put it in the. It's not very good. It's definitely not excellent. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna go over to it right now. Right now, we're just gonna put it good. Assassination Classroom. Literally, fucking love this. Fucking love this show. I love this show. It brought me the tears. Oh man, that it brought me to tears, especially at the end. And the spo spoilers are ahead of the lives, anyway. Kuroko Sensei. Literally, oh man, we had to, as you're on that class, had to hold you down and then kill you because that's the only way. Oh, I, I love this anime so much, but I'm still reserving excellent for like the S tier, of top of the line, great upon great anime. So I'm just gonna put this as very good for right now. I really love this anime though. Uh, Black Butler, I haven't seen. My brother has seen. I've heard good things about it. So the fact that I haven't seen it, I'm really just gonna put it at average. Matter of fact, I'm gonna put it at acceptable. That's, that's something that I'm, I will watch. Now, all right. So before we get into anything else, we're on the bleach. Now I see on the list we have a couple different volumes of one piece for the different arcs is the same way as in naruto but i'm gonna hold bleach as a whole right now because a hundred year blood war wow i'm in the hundred thousand year blood war is still going on and since we since it's not on the list right now i'm gonna hold it as bleach as a whole love the anime is a big three for a reason so once again i love the anime yes it has fillers yes the pacing is really is kind of slow to start out but the the character center is so goaded aizen is one of the best villains of all of anime one of the best love the story the thousand year old blood war if you haven't seen you what are you doing We're on season what is it now season three and the story was yahweh the soul king each each goes now be realize they oh i'm a hollow human and a quincy and he's the the ultimate being they're fighting gods it's a big three for a reason and that's why we reserve excellent for the s tier because i can't not leave out a big three and with bleach is one of my top tiers all the time so bleach excellent my hero academia all right, don't get me wrong here. My Hero Academia. A little bit chef kiss. Now, granted, certain seasons were meh. But I have called up, and this latest season, oh my gosh, the backstories behind some of these scenes. Endeavor, so much our family. They are finally reconciled. Yes, I'm sweating a little bit them out. We finally get to see all for a uh, young all for one for all versus one for all it's, it's oh my gosh like 
if you haven't caught up, please catch up. But am I gonna put that as S tier? That's the question. Am I gonna put that at excellent? It's a very good anime. Easily one of the newer, the new gen top big three. Dang, but I read the manga. Well, not any, I didn't read the manga. Okay, I'm like, oh, I was capping on that. But I've seen pages in the manga of how it ends. Ah, this is very hurt. It's gonna, it's very hard. But I'm gonna put it as very good above class assassination classroom. Okay, put that top tier of uh, very good. I see Boruto. Boruto is trash. Neon, see more. Boruto is trash. It's garbage. It's nothing but. Naruto, if you take Naruto, you piss on it, burned it, and then give it out to for people to watch. I don't care if you say the manga is good. The first, it, almost the first half of Boruto before it got canceled was literally Naruto. And it was a shittier version of Naruto. I don't care. Don't tell me to read the manga. I'm talking about based on the anime. It is garbage. It shits on everybody who watched Naruto Shippuden. Naruto. Naruto Shippuden. It shits on everything that I love as a Naruto fan. And puts it in garbage. For those reasons, it will always be in trash. Okay, another anime. Uh, I can't even tell the name. I don't even know. I... Alright. So, this is what we're going to do. Some of the animes that I don't know, so I don't have any opinion of, I'm just going to put it acceptable. So, I don't know it. So, we're going to move on. Dragon Ball Z. Is it Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Z Kai? Is it Dragon Ball Z? Okay. I'm just going to put it up. Like, this, this, this is a, it's not about Bleach, guys. I'm going to say that right now. It's not about Bleach. Bleach has a story. This has a... I would say somewhat confident style of story, but it's Dragon Ball Z. It's like it gets grandfired in as ex as excellent, regardless. Doesn't ca I don't care. I don't care what you what your argument is. Like, oh well, it should be above Bleach because you know Ichigo can't beat Goku. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it's still phenomenal. It's still gonna be one of the goats. So we're just gonna put it at excellent. We're not. There's no like argument. There's no question. Fairy tale. Okay, so. A lot of people are not going to like me for this, but it's going in excellent. And here's why. Because it actually has a good story. Easy to follow. As well as... It actually makes... A lot of it makes sense. And if you don't like the power of friendship that it emphasizes it all the time, which... All these freaking animes have in common. I'm going to say this right now. You do not have real friends. And... You don't appreciate... Anime itself, because literally majority of anime at some point, Dragon Ball. Yeah, Goku's the MC, but he still has a cast of people that need a, that helps him get him stronger and he and motivates him to get better. Ichigo has a cast of people behind him, tell him man better. Deku, cast of people. Assassination Classroom, that's a different story. Luxus, class of people. Bartos, ass, but cast of people. Fist of the North Star. Ooh. I said, this is an oldie. This is an oldie, but a goodie. Fist of the North Star. Now, am I going to put it up there with like, the My Hero Academias, the Assassination Classrooms, the Bleach, the Dragon Ball Z's, the Fairy Tales? No. It's a good, it's a nice style of anime. I'll tell you what, it's a nice style of anime. I'll, I'll enjoy watching. It's something I will rewatch. But I wouldn't put it up there with any of this. Is it better than Blue Extras? Hell yeah. So, we just want to leave it out there. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is probably one of the greatest. And I will go on record and say it's probably one of the greatest. Enemies all the time. I'll die on that hill.
I would die on that hill. Full Metal Alchemist was able to put a nice, concise, impactful story within 60 episodes. Personally, when you usually when people watch the anime to see if they were in or not, a lot of people say just, just watch at least half, at least um, like the first 20 episodes, somewhat 15 to 20 episodes to get a feel of what the story's about and take it from there. I just gotta say this. Watch it up to episode 10. Watch it up to episode 10. After you watch episode 10, let me know if you're in or you're out. Because that's what the anime is about. You in or you out. That's all I want to know. And for those reasons, this is why it's going to go in S tier excellent. S tier excellent. Uh, I will put this over above Bleach. I love this anime. Gintama. Gintama. Very solid anime. I pretty, I pretty much enjoyed it. Uh, some people, not so much. I know my brother didn't really like it. Um, I would say it's better than Blue Exorcist. Matter of fact, I'm gonna drop Blue Exorcist down to fine. And I'll put Gintama up the good, right behind Fist of the North Star. You know, you know. Hunter Hunter. Well, where do I start with Hunter Hunter? Slow, filler, left on the cliffhanger, but it has really good characters, really iconic characters, cool powers, and it's iconic, and some people will put them up with the big three. And would I watch it again? Yes. But is it S tier? No. Is it a good solid anime? Is better than is better than them. Is it better than Assassination Classroom? Yes. Is it better than my hero right now? No. But it, I want to put it very good. Okay. So and you watch them. We um. So for a lot of people who don't want is a lot is like a 50 50 thing because everybody here is that any you watch is really good which i really think is really good or a lot of people is like it's mid it's a solid and it's a solid and it's mid so um is it better than gentama i really enjoyed it better than gentama i did not enjoy it as much as i love the fist of the north star um but if I'm going on based off like a lot of other people, especially a lot of people who are on fronts with that watch anime, they'll say it's just fine. <sighs> Man, I'm just gonna put it fine. I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it at good. It's, it's. I personally, I think it's good. Better than fine. Like it's rewatchable. Some people put it at fine or average. I personally think it's good. So, yeah. JoJo Bizarre Adventures. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This, this is going to be uh, very critical. It is ass. It is ass. For the reasons of... Tell me the plot of fucking JoJo. If you can't tell me the... All these animes have a plot to send the, send the work for. This has no plot. This has no story. This is, this is just a guy doing random stuff. And for those reasons, it is ass. I don't care about the fight scenes. I don't. I don't care how good the fight scenes are. Give me a story to follow. Uh, Noragami, I have never seen. So I'm just gonna put that as acceptable. One Piece, Mid Piece. One Piece, Mid Piece. There's a couple other ones. Uh, the original one, the original One Piece is long as heck. Um, yes, it has a very good iconic arts. Um, do I, do I want to be disrespectful? Do I want to be disrespectful? I'm gonna put that good. I'm gonna put that top of good. I mean, I enjoyed it, but it's just too fucking long. I think it's okay. Boom. Uh, I don't know this anime, so I'm gonna put it acceptable. Rory Kenshin. We talking about the live action is really good. We talk about the anime is really good. It's better than one. The first ride for One Piece. Hell yeah! I don't care what anybody says. 
So, no, matter of fact, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Is it better than Assassination Classroom? Not better than Hunter Hunter, though. Okay, so I just Google, um, what this anime was. I thought it was sort of online, but Seraph at the end. I don't even know this anime. I've never even heard of this anime. So, we we'll go, you already know it. We're gonna chuck it in acceptable. Soul Eater. Soul Eater. We move on. In yeah. Do you have a show? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, come on now, come on now. I don't even want to have to, there's no argument, it's OG. There's no argument. All right. Seven Deadly Sins. Season one, good. Season two, good. Season three, what the fuck happened to the animation? I'm sorry, it's the... Seven Daddy Sense is one of those animes. Like, the first season or two starts out really good, and then the back, the, other, the rest of the seasons of the series takes a Promise Neverland route and ruins it. Now, will I go back and watch the first two seasons? Yes! Well, do I care about the other, the, the last seasons? No! And I think I really kill it. Why well, I say it's... I can't say it is fully trash. But I can't say it's average. Screw it. No, 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 screw it. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it. No, it, it's going right, chucking right in the trash. JJK. Phenomenal. Solid. It brings me back to um the kind of like the bar to point where if you read the manga, uh, you already know what's gonna how it ends. Um, it's all about fighting, you know. Um, a lot of stuff that really doesn't get explained that much in JJK. I mean, I like the story a little. I like the story a little bit, but like a lot of the movesets do not get explained, and I need to know explain ex explain like domain expansion. Like what the fuck. Like, yeah, it's Bruce Aura. I like it. But can you please explain how they how they're able to do, start doing these domain expansions a little bit? Um Yes, it's a big three. I like the fight scenes. Um story could still have a little bit of work done to it and personally. And I know how the manga ends. And this is some bullshit. But is it good while rewatch it any any time of the week? Yes. Do I care how it ends down? No! For those reasons, I'm putting it at good. Ronnie and Yuasha. Next is Demon Slayer. Now, I'm not fully caught up on Demon Slayer, so please bear with me. But I'm just going to go with the first parts of the Demon Slayer that I would say. Animation carries. Um, the fact that you guys make seasons based off the, already, the movies that already was already out. Why? I mean, the sto they're starting to pick up. I like how it is when they eventually started the storyline. The story started getting good. They actually started making a story that makes sense. I follow, which is solid. But I feel as though they fall, even though they're the big three, the new gen big three. I feel as though they they still fall underneath that JJK branch. So I can't put that over JJK. Only one right now I can follow right now that, other than the fandom being freaking weird. It's my hero. My hero actually has a good story to follow. JDK really does not. Demon Slayer falls in the same woods. So I'm gonna put them at good. Fire Force. I've seen bits and pieces of Fire Force. It's alright. It's alright. I mean, like I really couldn't really fully get into it. It's, I wouldn't say trash. Like if I would go back and just w watch it as give it a chance. I, it, to me, I probably watch it, but it's like it's to me, it's like it's alright. So I'm just gonna play average. Naruto. I don't care what you say about filler. The last only time there was really filler in Naruto was the last two seasons because they were trying to drag out the last two freaking parts of the final arc as long as they possibly could. But other than that, majority of it. It's pretty good. Now I you just jumped it right in. Cool. We need to understand. First mission. Oh, it's supposed to be a C-class mission. Bet. S-class. Right off the rip. Huh? Good storytelling. 
Love the character building. Uh, it's the first time I ever hated um, a certain character in an anime. Sakura, you suck. So it's a go to show. I'm gonna put that uh, in excellent over Bleach. I will watch that with way more than Bleach. Boruto is kind of killing Boruto is kind of killing Luxie right now, but it is what it is. Uh, all right. So this One Piece with the um, this gotta be the latest One Piece after the Marine Four arc. Ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. If my creator of my favorite is the creator of my favorite show, told me. Just it told uh, new friends, just start at the egghead. Just start it right here, right where, where we're at right now. Just start here, and um, you you understand what's going on as well as it, it, it'll be good. It'll be better for you. And um, I'm sitting here after watching since day freaking one, watching over a thousand episodes. A thousand episodes, and you too, and I hear my the other creator of my favorite animes told new fans to do that. Do that. Oh, I'm pissed. Oh, I'm heated. Oh, I'm crashing out. As well as personally for me, I start rewatching it, and it's like a meh. It's like something if it's on, is on. So I wouldn't put it as trash, but it personally it's not good. Oh shit! So I'm just gonna put it at fine. I mean it's meh. World Trigger, I've seen it. It's average at best. Black Clover. Really haven't seen Black Clover. But uh, acceptable. I like Magi. Really like Magi. I, like, I really do like this, this series. But what I put it over way over Blue Exorcist. Uh, but I do I put it over One Piece. I don't I don't see that. Um uh, I mean, I, re- I will go back and rewatch the whole entire series of, one- of uh, Mog before I will go, uh, go back and catch up on One Piece, though. I mean, it's a fine, it's a nice style of anime. You know what? I'm just gonna put it in front, front, of one, front of One Piece. I don't even know why I'm calling it One Piece, it's a mid-piece. Alright, next we have the time I got reincarnated as a slime. Never seen it, so it's gonna act, we already know the drug, one that is acceptable. And then we have the final, the final, the final. Creme of the creme of the victory. Naruto. Shippuden. Where should I start? Should I start at the Great Ninja War? Where Madara Yuchi was bodying everybody? Or should I start when he find when, when um or should I start when Naruto and Kamara find join forces? Or should I start at when everybody finally figures out that Naruto is Minato's son, and everybody's like looking like, and Minato's looking like, oh, what, what the fuck, the, the, Oka, the Okage, I literally told his ass to keep an eye on you, and he did nothing. A lot of respect, or even Jiraiya's death, that, that brought, brought tears to my eyes, but, listen, there's a lot of, a lot of emotions in this season, a lot of great, great, great arcs, as well as, yes, here comes the fucking filler because it, it was the last two seasons, guys. Come on. Bro. You, you, uh, especially you Mythic fans, you have spent over a thousand episodes just to get to where Oda saying that um, now we're trying to get to the real thing. But I digress. I'm just going to knock this off right now. We already know where it's going. Boom. Boom. I think I did good. I think I did really good this tier list. I really think I did. I three really think I knocked out, knocked out of park. I really think I knocked this tier list out of the park, yo. But I want y'all, I want y'all opinion. Let me know down in the comments. Did I get it right? Am I wrong? Or should I go back and give some of these animes a chance? Or even the ones I put that are not acceptable that I haven't seen before? Should I give those anime a chance? Or what are some animes that should have been on the tier list that I left out? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments down below. And it's been real, people. It was your boy Dave. Sign on to next time. Peace.